all the three clans will have to make their way to the mangrove lagoon forest. But first, they will need to find clues that will lead them there. Clan after clan, they walked, ran, rode on tricycles and any other means of transportation. Smart sound. But will they get there before nightfall? It is a race against time. One by one, they made their way to the point of meat in the jungle. group by its color. Not even tiredness or exhaustion could stop them. Till all our 18 warriors were assembled. Our contestants look like they have just seen a ghost when they meet our anchor and taskmaster. Taskmaster, are this the best you could find from the land? Yes, as decreed by the Council of Elders. Have they been refined? A true craftsman is always prepared. Welcome to the jungle. Thank you, you Mark. Today, you stand on a path to take your place in the folklore of time. Over 20,000 people began this journey with you. Look around you. Only 18 of you have been deemed worthy to go on this quest. Congratulations. Thank you, Ma. Welcome to Gulda Ultimate Search. Thank you, Ma. I can't hear you. Thank, Thank you, Ma. This is the age of craftsmanship. Introduce yourselves, starting with you. Mfon Mikiel Essin, Obu Oreva Goswell. Oki Bechidima Veronica, Estima Francis Edem. Okoye Tobichku, Johnson Adedamola Adewale. Jennifer Okore Goodness. Umoren Iniabasi. Agbonile Usasere Jr. Emmanuel Ifan Inebe. Ola Inka Gabriel Omoya. Emiola Michael Tosin. Odudu Ime Otu. Solomon Iliaya Nkari. Gerald Ogenemega Odeka. Bello Omoka Ferrechel. Okpayemi Samuel Ishmael. Damilola Okpaolua Odedino. I hear we have some wild cards. Raise your hands to identify yourselves. Congratulations to have finally made it this Thank far. Thank you, Mark. The viewers have put their vote of confidence in both of you. I hope you prove them right. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. My name is Toke Makingwa. I'm your captain, your host, and that little voice in your head that reminds you that only the fittest will survive this quest. To my left is your taskmaster, Kunle Remy. Now we both will guide you through this quest. You would not only need your strength, your wit, and your skills, but everything you know and everything you think you know Need I remind you that many will fall along the way till we find the bravest man or woman who will be the next Gulda Ultimate Warrior. That person will have their names urged in the secret chambers of heroes and go home with a life-changing prize of 50 million Naira. Are you ready? Yes, ma. Are you ready? Yes, ma. I can't hear you. Yes, ma. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. The three mats in front of you signifies the three clans that you have been divided into. Taskmaster, I think it's only fair that we name their clans. Very well. Would you do the honors? We have three names for the clans. 
That is Eri, Iroko, and Amo. Very quickly now, would you all decide what clan you would like to belong to? Amo. Amo. Iroko. Iroko. One at a time. Amo. Amo. Iroko. Iroko. That was quick. Now that you've selected your clan, let me remind you that the jungle is your home. This is your home for as long as this quest lasts. The only key thing that you need in this jungle is to survive. Now we've provided some food for you and in only 10 seconds by my clock, you get to pick what you need for your groups. Taskmaster. I would like to plead that they have 20 seconds. Please. Please. A good day for your taskmaster as he's decided to extend some grace to you. 20 seconds it is then. Now on my command, you will step forward and pick one item at a time. Place it on your mat. You have 20 seconds. When I say stop, you stop. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Go. The instructions were clear. One item. Pick That's your one food. item That's your food. at a time. That's your food. But the scramble for food, Stop. even in the jungle, Stop. is never Stop. easy. Back Survival, especially in the jungle, is never easy. If there's anything that I will not condone in this search, and I'm sure she would support that, is when you rush. You just wasted food. There is a punishment for that. No unruly behavior will be tolerated in this camp. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Your taskmaster is greatly upset with you for spilling some food. There are children in Africa who are scrambling to get the food that you just spilled. Now, as the course of this quest goes on, we shall both decide on a befitting punishment for you. Now, look around you. This is the last semblance of civilization you know. All the fancy caps you have on, the necklaces, the wristwatches, it all ends here. If they were ever in doubt, now it's time to face reality. All their fancy items have no place in the jungle. To your right, we have provided some survival kits. These kits are filled with basic things that you need to survive the jungle. Your taskmaster will let you know how you can proceed to pick up your bags. Now, need I also remind you, every bag you see there has your name written on them so you know what bags belongs to you. Taskmaster. All right, let's go. Take off your belongings. Take off everything. They strip themselves of all fancy jewelry and items not needed in the jungle. Yes, you have everything set in your bags. Now, if I were you, if I'm wearing a face cap, I'll put my belongings in the face cap. If I'm taking off my jacket, I'll put my belongings in my jacket. And if it's my shoes and I have jewelry, I'll put them in the shoe to be safe. To keep your minds at rest, all your personal belongings will be thoroughly looked after, so you have nothing to worry about. Are we done? Yes, sir. Now, each clan, you will carry your food stuff. Form a straight line to your right, and you will find your survival kit, your bags. Now, whatever you cannot carry, you leave behind. I have not said you should go. We're gonna have a big problem in this jungle, and that is when you don't listen. You listen. Listening is easy if you do actually listen. Hope our 18 warriors learn that soon enough. Discipline is something that we hold to a very high standard. Until you hear go, you do not move. It's time that they get their kits and prepare for life in go. the jungle. They can only take what they can carry. They will need to figure this out. Whatever you cannot carry, you leave behind, like I said. 
but it's time to move on. Air peace, your peace, Argo. Our anchor and taskmaster brood on this issue of listening. It might just be some Achilles heel eventually. They search for their bags, trying to identify who has what. Some sort of confusion as this goes on. Osas can't seem to find his. Looks like Yankari has found Omoya's own. Omoya, they tell you, Omoya eventually takes it from Yankari. This is 42 now. This is a video. I mean, so the bag with this. So, this is one size. Besides, one? I've never sized this. Check it now. Check it. If it's white, I think I'll look at it. But wait a minute. There is some sort of confusion with Omoya. He can't find a leg of his pair of sandals. Maybe he needs to go back to where they picked their kit. Omoya looks reluctant to check and thinks it wasn't added to his kit. So go, Yankari. You're cool. Yankari. Yeah, he said Now do one for okay, this one I see. How about you? Now do one for uh, one uh, this one, Sander. Are you sure? Yeah. There's one I saw there. Uh, yeah. That place we carried back. One Sander. I saw one Sander. Uh -huh. Even Chidima thinks so. But probably it's free. But I saw one Sander. Let's get him now. Go ahead. 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 We'll probably check on our way. No, I think it should be bad. Well, if he feels it was a strategy by someone to slow him down, we'll see. <laughs> Anything can happen. It's a jungle. It could be. It could be a strategy to slow me down. But it's a jungle. I expect nothing less. I'm prepared for what's coming next. But meanwhile, there is no time to check time. Something tells me we have not heard the last of this sandal issue. Let's hope one of the forest keepers sees it. It will soon be dusk and they will still need to build their camp if they can locate the place. They set out, following the trail and clues for direction. I said it, I can't talk to you guys. I don't need to now go another job. I'm follow person. Wait, no, no. No, 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 Cracking jokes helps them bridge time and keeps their spirits high as well. Even singing too. What do you do? What do you Our contestants have been trying to locate the place they will build their camp for a while now. The arrow sign gives them a clue on the directions to go. The jungle is vast. 
and it will take some navigation for them to trace where they are going. Uh, it looks like our sojourners have come to a dead end. They have lost their way. Boy, the thing is pointing this way now. A little to your left. Destruction. No, 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 you're the pointer. A little to your left. Toby thinks they should go left, as the sign says. Hey, wait, so calm down. We all of you to dispatch. See, see the thing now. But others think the arrow should guide them in the direction. Majority seem to agree with that line of thought. Finally, they make their way to the right spot. Nothing much to call it a home, but this will be their residence for the time they will spend in the forest. Where the anchor and taskmaster were already waiting. I see that you've all found your kits and you're all well suited up. Now welcome to your base. Thank you. Thank you. This is home for as long as the quest is on. Now as you can see, we have combed through the forest to find you a path where you can lay your heads and call your homes. But the challenge there is, you get to make this place habitable for yourselves. Your taskmaster will come forward and let you know what you need to do to build your homes and make this place your base. All right, everyone step forward, grab one element, please. Everyone, let's go. You can drop your stuff, you don't have to carry your load. Safety first. They are given helmets and gloves to protect them. Now the helmets you pick should represent the clan that you represent. The helmets have been provided as shelter so you do not bang your heads while you make this place your home. There are also gloves, Taskmaster. All right, now you have gloves, you have ropes, you have mats, you have something wrapped in right behind you. You have every material you need to set up your camp. Might I add, this is your first task. It's time to build the base camp. There is strength in numbers, they say, but some think they should work independently of each other as a clan. Now the very first task has been given to our 18 contestants. They have to make this jungle their home. How well do you think they would do? I thought they would come together, strategize, find out which goes where, because the team has provided all the materials that they need to make this place as habitable as you can imagine. I can't wait to see them tomorrow to find out what they come up with. <laughs> well, till good counsel prevails, the taskmaster dishes out some instructions. If only they will listen. Listen up, guys. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Pay attention. This is not a block of flats for each clan. This is a one big family residency, all right? So I'm not expecting you to divide yourselves or build for each clan. It's open for everybody, all right? Okay, good luck, continue. All right. 
Yeah, but still trying to figure out how we are going to balance the whole structure in order to get a conducive uh, uh, resting place for us. But so far, so good. We are progressing the way I see it. Now that they decided to work as a group, irrespective of clans, I guess it will be a lot easier for them to build their camp before nightfall. Or would it really? Hey, we just um, located our camp and we are trying to make our shelter. So everybody is just trying to figure out what is what, which one is for the roof, which one is for the length, which one is for the breadth. This should go first. This should go first. I bet you can drop the matches. The way you are. I noticed that from the right side of the, the building, there are some of the bamboo trees, bamboo um, wood. Uh, mark arrow, we represent the right side of it, and then they have arrow one number from one to six. Then we, didn't, we couldn't find arrow six, we, we found arrow one to five. So when we wanted to like erect that particular part, we got confused along the line. But after we finished erecting that site, we were able to discover the arrow six that brings another confusion. That's the reason why I love to think and calculate before I take any action. Because I told them earlier, let's calculate, first. let's think enough. There could be one piece missing. You can't just go ahead and start doing this thing like this. All right, who wants to fix this one? So let's teach you how to do it. Then let's teach you how to do it. Right about now, we're trying to build the tent where we're going to be staying. Uh, everybody collectively together so we have some people trying to do the roof we have the tall guys there trying to fix the roof and uh, the rest of us are trying to work on the sides as well and then uh, we plan to do the base last because uh, I think that's best because we're losing daylight right now the Sun is almost down so I think it's uh, best we do the, the roof first so much motion no movement it seems it doesn't look like they are making much progress I must say but safety first, and the taskmaster needed to remind them about this. Okay, guys, wait, 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 one second, one second, one second. Um, I remember being in the jungle, you always have accidents. So, for your own safety, I would advise you to go wear your boots so you do not enjoy yourself. Things are a little coordinated now, but not so much. The Sitiwa seems to have an idea but doesn't look like anyone is listening. I discovered that some of the bamboo had um, B with some numbers written on it, some had L with numbers written on it, and some had um, R with some numbers written on it. I think B should go the back. Guys, calm down. Guys, calm down. Some of them are, some of them are Let's be wise. Some of these are Let's be wise. One at a time. Can you sing? Let's be wise. Let's do the roof first. Let's do the roof first. In case, let's just do the roof first, then this, the, the side, we can fix the side, but the roof first, so that we can have somewhere to even hide. Arguments and counter arguments. Looks like our warriors this time around just love to hear their voices with no one really listening. We have the roof and a We have a team here. Let's stop here. Once we stop this out, this work will move. Under 20 See, minutes, we're done. Yes, yes. You guys should just go for all the arrow. Oh. All the any oh. arrow. Oh. 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 Everybody have a paradigm or a perspective on building the house, which is good, but sometimes we, need, we should learn to listen to each other and know what to do. Yes. So one of them has been this. This one should go first. Guys, 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 the taskmaster is frustrated about this commotion going on and needed to step in. Okay, guys, 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 wait, 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 hold up, hold up. You have different alphabets, right? Yes, sir. So R stands for what? Roof. Roof. L stands for what? Length. Ah. That's why I said this is very brilliant. You guys are so smart. And B stands for what? What if R stands for right? 
and L stands for left. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. The taller guys band together to face the roofing. Mikel thinks he knows better. He seems to be impatient with some of his co-contestants. If I and um, and in near Basi, is not they are not paying attention. They are just going with the flow. I mean, for them, anything goes for them. Okay, they are not being calculative enough, and it's very, very annoying. I don't work with those kind of people. I love to be calculative. I love to think. I love to reason before I take any action. But these guys are not actually reasoning enough, and becoming very difficult, making the whole task difficult for me and the rest of the team. But they are not listening to us. I wouldn't know that, but I've been bringing up very, very good suggestions so far, and I've been working with the guys on the side as well. No, 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 leave here, leave here, leave here, leave here. That's the wrong one, leave here. Back, 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 I think everybody has their strengths, everybody has their weaknesses, and uh, those with the strengths are, are putting it to, to good use. I think this is solid enough. Solid. This is solid enough. Near Basi. This is solid enough. What are you saying? Don't be saying like you're all coming out. Real life. This is solid enough. Is it okay? I don't know. Not going on the deep inside there. No, no, no. Not doing this. Near Basi, come on. Let's start this. Where, where is the other room? Let's nice see if you guys fix this or the roof. It was easy all along. All they needed was patience to observe and know what to do. Last one. We're still doing under. Uh, get you from here. Take it down. At last, things begin to take shape. What are they really? Go, 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 go. Guys, okay, remember, the preference yeah. cover it to the end. The end is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the end. The front, the front, the front. You won't sleep here now. You sleep inside. Okay. We are in some sort of conundrum with the roofing of their camp. They are short of building materials for the roof. Someone is getting innovative here. Engineer Omoya thinks they should draw a map. Hmm. I wonder how he thinks that will help without an architect. I guess he hasn't realized that he's in the jungle. Well, so far so good. Um, I think we are all trying, just that we, the instructions that, that we are trying to give ourselves are not being listened to. But the way this uh, taskmaster spoke, I felt a clue in what he said. So I didn't want to argue at first because we're just coming to camp. I don't, I don't want to act as if I know it all. To the best of my knowledge, people have been bringing up good suggestions, good ideas, and everybody's trying to put in some form of effort one way or the other. And everyone has to pitch in to build the camp. This is like the step, so there's space under. All right. Give me float. You can't, so let's try. Let's see, let's see. No, no problem. No problem. Cool like this. This is our We will do back like that. This is our first. I don't know. You don't break it. Don't break more now. Let's finish. Hey, hold on. Hey, no problem, Mikhail. Continue. This is my note. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
The ladies dug in as much as the men. Truly, what a man can do, they say, a woman can as well. <laughs> Little by little, the structure was taking shape. The floorboards are put in place. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It has no cut. Don't worry, let's move it. Welcome to the jungle. This is the age of craftsmanship. The Golder Ultimate Search, Season 12. Night gradually falls in camp. Well, we are trying to build our tent and we are kind of having lots of challenges right from the beginning to now. First, we had arguments on where to start and how to start it. At the end of the day, we were able to come up with something. But right now, we are kind of having issue with our roof. The centre roof is kind of falling down now. We are looking for a way to raise it up. Some guys are already taking care of that. As you can see behind, we just finished making our tents for the night. This is where we'll be sleeping for the rest of our camping here. And at first it was as if we weren't going to make it on time, but we had to come together as a whole team, not individually, but as a team to put our heads together and make everything work out. On a scale of one to 100, I would say we're like, on the task for today, we're on 50, 60, because we still haven't fixed up, um, I think the bedrooms, um, toilets, and I think the windbreakers from the front of the building. So. We're not yet done, we're still on it, so I feel tomorrow we're going to continue. Today's task was to build up our tent, where we'll spend the rest of our time here. It was a bit challenging in the beginning because everybody had opinions and everybody wanted to be listened to, but at the end of the day, we figured it out and with teamwork, we did, a, I think, a pretty job. Literally, I feel... <laughs> I feel tired, to be honest with you. But the, the good thing about it is that um, for the fact that we were able to achieve what we wanted, how we wanted it to be, um, is quite inspiring. Like, um, I'm tired, but that doesn't mean that when there's another objective, I can't do it. But um, from what we've done, um, I feel tired and I'm, I'm very happy that I'm here. Um, I'm very happy that I'm part of this. I'm so tired. I can queue for water now. There's no pad inside. Thank you. Are you serious? I didn't need a pad. I was tight. I couldn't get a magical power there. Is it better? Yeah. The pad is inside my pad. I have a hydrogen. I need water. Who can hydrogen? So you keep it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Like, 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 Good thing they all decided to pull all their food stuff together, else some would have had only oil to eat. But there is a problem. What will they cook? We we'll just do porridge rice. Um, is it porridge? I mean jollof rice. No salt to rice care this night. They realize there is no salt. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Who cooks without salt? Maybe our warriors are an exception. What do you want they to eat do? their food, salt or no salt. Yeah, <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Wait, kerosene no the kerosene thing now. Not the kerosene, but that thing, a chemical. Huh? Oh. She on it again. So let's get kerosene. Okay, use this one now. Wait first. It's not by kerosene. If you use only kerosene, it's wait, on wait, and wait. then it will go off again. As the night wears on, they try to loosen up with some music and getting to know each other more. Where are your plates now? What you plate now? This year I'm being very sad. I swear. Yeah, this is my own and that they are one. No, 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 let's no, 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 they put oil for people now. They are asking for oil. 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 They now you find now you find this boy now no all of us not there this is father have your way now friends they be this boy go hard though okay okay now people go run go on food who has he got in oil give me oil my food the director is here big fish don't go down my job so put on top on top seven people haven't got in food what ever collect food make come now what you know you drive on the phone finish they don't know what to one manager now they say oil 
Wait, now let me answer you. With a bath, right? Yeah. We carry lantern pool for this side to make reflection of light no rituals. Okay. That's for a purpose, right? Okay. Then now uh, him carrying that lighter to pass at that place. That's what got us upset. When you guys are having your bath here, yeah, don't you tell us to leave that place? Problem, so why can't he go back? Do you know? Do you know where the problem is? You guys are the, on the road. You guys are on the road. That's what you don't know. They were here. They told us not to go there. We don't know about that. They were here. We don't know about that. Then what will stop you? Where where did you bath? You even came and took our lantern to go and fetch water. Like, Shut up your mouth. You are just a little If you are not a little you will not you won't talk to me like that. If you are not a little you won't talk to me like that. You are only a little you don't have home training. Yeah. He took our lantern that when he was approaching, he said, Nigga, please, we are having our bath. Come back. He said that he would that he's not looking at us. Why did he take our lantern? For him to come and pick our lantern where we kept it. That means it was a deliberate act. And all this while he didn't go to fetch water. It was immediately he heard that we are having our bath. That was when he remembered that he didn't go fetch water. Make it and maybe we went there for you to fetch water. Yes. He went and took our lantern from where we kept it. No, it doesn't make sense. And he said if it is the is it. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you want to bath, don't be here. You, you go to bath. This is not the place where we go. See, my dear, you go. You pass go fetch water. And I was going like this. I carry this like this. And I don't reach here. And I tell me say, wait, wait. I can't say okay. Say I'm not. I'm facing here. I'm not facing this side. What are you trying to do? You want to piss me? You want to defend? You want to be ashamed of yourself? You should be ashamed. You should be one like. Can you imagine? Yes, we are betting there. And we want to piss. No guy should bath. And when he was approaching, we told him. The skies look like it might rain. Maybe the heavens have a welcome gift for them. Some showers of blessings. They gradually settle in for their first night in the jungle. Shut it. You can never win. You're shut it. You can't shut it. You can't shut it. 